guys. So today we're doing a challenge video that um, actually a friend of mine requested. We are doing the get to know me challenge. <laughs> what is the get to know me challenge? Well, that's where we make sure that we actually know each other and the penalty for not knowing each other is whipped cream to the face. With plates, we each have plates. Many of you may not know this, but my wife is a steel trap vault, whatever you want to call it, of memories. Oh she can recite our conversations from before we even got married. <laughs> and I'm not exaggerating at all. So the goal of this is for me to win and her to lose. We're that couple that like, we do everything together. We, we do, we're a yeah. team, like we do everything together. And so we tell each other literally everything and we know everything about the other. We do. So, so it's gonna be hard to not know, but I think we could come up with some really hard ones. The way we're gonna make this difficult is she's going to come up with very specific questions. Asking what your favorite color is, is not a hard question. Asking what size clothes they wear, not a hard question. Hard questions are, do you remember what you said to me whenever we were on that train ride going through the dark tunnel that one time? <laughs> Things like that, like that's, that's a difficult question. Now, I am gonna put my hair up, not because I'm gonna lose, but you know, just, you know, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> She's gonna lose. Now we have original whipped cream and extra creamy whipped cream. Yes, extra creamy. I'm gonna go with extra creamy. Good. So I'm blue team. <laughs> and I am red team. Do you wanna go first on yeah. the question? I'm gonna ask her the question. She's going to give the incorrect answer and I'm going to smash her face full of whipped cream and I'm super excited about it. So we're going to start off with two easy questions because... <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay. When we first got married, what was my favorite type of coffee? None. Dang. I just put that I hated coffee, <laughs> which is true. Which is true. It's true. He so hated none is the perfect answer. Yeah. So none. you you win that one. He uh he's grown to like it now. Yeah, really I really like I it. Drink it all the time. Oh no, she's okay, not. Okay, I have easy. a couple hard ones. I want like I have a hard time coming up with easy ones because cool. I know these. <laughs> ask me what your eye color is. I'm gonna green. Okay, I'll ask one easy question, but the rest are just. Gonna... I deal. That if that's how we're gonna play it, then that's. That's good with me. I, okay, I have it. Okay. <laughs> Growing up, I had a ferret. Oh no. We had actually two. My sister had one and I had one. Yeah. What was my ferret's name? Two ferrets. I know both names. Cecilia. Good job. Oh, is that how you spell it? I honestly, that's how I spelled it. <laughs> Out of all superpowers, if I could just have one, what would it be? You've changed your mind so many times. Okay, pick the one that, like, if I could have just one out of at all superpowers. Like, I'm not. T I'm talking about all superpowers, not just limited to one show There's or one two universe. two that I think of. Okay, well, you only get one. Think of. No, there's three. <laughs> now think of the ultimate one that I would absolutely love to have. Like this. There's two that you like always think of. Okay. Ah! Do change it. No, I would rather do this. No, I would rather do this. Okay, this one is the one that's always my default. This is what I would love more than any of them if I had to only have one superpower. Okay, fine. I got one. Okay. Teleportation. Oh no. Oh no! Is it speed? It is super oh, speed. Dang it! Teleportation it would be speed. awesome. I knew it was speed. That's the the one that I was thinking of. I thought teleportation, speed, and telekinesis. All three. All of those. of those are amazing superpowers, but if I could only have one, super speed Dang would be the best. I almost said super speed. You should have said it. Oh. Uh, Go down first. This really sucks. 
You ready? No. I feel like this is so unfair to you. <laughs> That's I feel a really bad. Good question, though. That's the one that I'd want. I mean, super speed, you could do so much. You could do <laughs> this is nerdy. You could do your homework in a matter of seconds. You ready? Am I ready? Yeah. <laughs> that tasted so good. <laughs> you ready? No. Alright. Three, two. Oh my gosh, get me out of here. Get me out of here now. I feel so bad. <laughs> that was, I thought that was an easy question. Oh, well. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, now that I've already opened up the doors. You won't feel bad soon. Yeah, <laughs> I know you're gonna get me back. Okay. okay, I'm just gonna leave most of it on my face. I don't care. There you go. So, when I was- Was that it? <laughs> that was so short. When okay. I was a kid, I've right. told you this story, and I know I have. All right. Um, by the way, a lot of my questions are going to be about animals because I am just, I'm an animal fanatic and I had like a farm growing up. So. Yeah, she... Okay, when I was growing up, I saved an animal from the backyard. Yeah. And I absolutely thought it was the cutest thing ever. I, we ended up letting it go. I named it and then I named my ferret after it. What kind of animal was it? Cecilia. I named Cecilia after it. Owl. No. What? What? It was a mole. No! You named you a mole, Danielle? You know it was a baby owl. No. Oh that was no. Different. That was different. We've had a lot of animal. Um, I have a oh, lot of animal no. stories. <laughs> okay, ready? <sighs> let, let, let's do this extra creamy one. Oh man. That's so much more than I put on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so awesome. Um. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Here. I can't see. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so awesome. That was so unexpected. I thought, he's giving me so much time to like, you know, like prepare for this. And I thought, I'm not gonna do that for him. <laughs> oh my word. A mole, Danielle? You knew, I told you that before. You knew. She's weird and she likes moles. Okay, no, I'm weird and I like every single animal on this earth. She Snakes. likes, she likes star-nosed moles. Look that up. Do you like a... No, just regular. Do you like spiky nose placostomus? Placostomi? Pl Anyways, bristle nose placostomus, look it up, and then look up star nosed mole. They're both ugly. We have a bristle nose placostomus. Yes, we do, and I do not. It's <laughs> ugly, it grosses me out. No offense, I like him, he's him. nice. You love him. And I'm sure moles are nice too, but holy crap, Danielle. Look at how much is left on her plate. I don't know if you can see it's that. It's so good. Look how much is left on the plate of the massive <laughs> thing that she did on me. Okay, your turn. Oh my gosh, it's game time. It's on, it's on. You're going down. Now I just need to come up with a really hard one. Go for it. If I could be any animal, or just transform into an animal on the spot, just one, what would it be? A wolf. Dang it. <laughs> Straight up a wolf. <laughs> oh, that was a, such an easy question. Okay, I just thought maybe you'd think of the other animal. No, you I wouldn't want to be it. You just would want to roll around with it. Yeah. Elephant, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to do one more animal. <sighs> she has so many animal stories. I'm obsessed with them. I'm obsessed. If I if I could have like a like a like a wildlife preserve where I could just cuddle with all the foxes and all the like you know I would do it anyway. Oh, the totally question would. is, <clears throat> when I was little, I saw something drowning in the pond. I got it out and I tried my hardest to do CPR, 
Well, it actually did come to life. I don't think it was because of me, but I believed that it was. And I called myself a hero that day. What animal was it? Oh no. Or what creature was it? Oh no. I've told you this story. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god. It was a mouse. Nope. It was a ladybug. A ladybug? <laughs> no. No, you just wait. <laughs> Retribution is coming. Oh, it's in your hair. Whoever came up with this idea. Sucks. Yeah. Okay, uh, your turn. Okay, that's it. I don't know if I've, sto I've told you this story before, but I don't care. <laughs> I, what story? I don't know it's yet. about you. It has to be about you. No, no, it'll be about me. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I have told you this. When I was a kid, I used to go to the creek to catch crawdads with friends and other neighborhood kids, people I didn't know, would go down to this creek and catch crawdads just for fun. I didn't eat crawdads. I caught them so I could play with them and things like that and take them home and then take them back when my parents said, uh, they're not gonna survive long in the tub. Oh, I remember telling you this story. Okay. There is someone there tied a food item, there's your hint, to a piece of string and caught a crawdad with it. A food item. What food item did they use to catch that crawdad? I feel like you're gonna ask who did it. Um, I don't even remember who did it. <laughs> I just remember thinking, what a waste. Dang. Yeah. <clears throat> you just wait. The pie's what coming. What a waste? Um... I wanna say a hot dog, but I kinda also wanna say a bread. A bread? Yeah. Which one? Or a piece of cheese. Um, you I gotta think, what could you tie to a string and fish for crawdad with? I, that's not gonna help you, but I think it might eliminate some of the ones you've chosen. <laughs> well, you can't tie cheese, I guess. You totally could tie bread. I'm not gonna give anything away. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with, um, you've told me this? Yeah, I've told you multiple times and it always seemed like, it, like <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> like, that was the, the feeling I got was like, <laughs> why are you telling me this? This is why. To prevent pie from being in your, in your face. Da -na -na -na. I'm gonna go with bread. Bread. The answer is, chicken leg or a drumstick. Oh my gosh, why didn't I know that? With you saying it's such a waste. Yeah, so that is a waste of food. It. it worked though. They caught a crawdad with it because a crawdad grabbed onto it oh and they my pulled gosh. it out. So. <laughs> oh no. Look at Brad. Payback. No, oh, Danielle. Why isn't it sticking to your face as much as mine? I've got makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If you apply the Mrs. Doubtfire regimen to your face daily, you could also look like this. Mrs. Doubtfire. <sighs> Man, ladybug. <laughs> this is more personal. Oh okay. no. <laughs> so. In uh, fifth and sixth grade, okay, I got made fun of a okay. lot. Yeah, yeah. And I had a nickname that they called me. What was it? Quiet girl. Oh, I didn't think you'd actually remember that. What? Yeah. There was a girl that I used to pick on that I called statue. Oh, I always felt bad, so when she told me that story, I thought, oh no, there's another side to my story, <laughs> and I am not the good guy. Oh, <laughs> I am not God. nice. Okay, so, 
pie free. When I was in school, okay, this is this is later in life. Uh, okay. Whenever I was young, I got like participation trophies and things like that for playing basketball. Things I didn't necessarily deserve because I was terrible at basketball. But later in life, I got trophies for being good at things. What is the only trophy that I have, what was it for? There are various ways to say this. I want to say it's something to do with mathematics. Okay. Um, so is that your answer then? Math or academic. So what's your answer? Mathematics. I was a mathlete, or math. So <laughs> was, I was right! Yeah, so yes. that's what my trophy was for. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I mean, course. I played other sports, but uh, I was not good enough to... to well, I, you know, I had glasses on. Depth perception changes whenever you go from glasses to contacts. Oh I dare God. anyone to test that theory out and see for yourself. My absolute top favorite thing to watch growing up. Growing up? On TV. On TV, My so it was thing. a so it was a TV show. Yep. Discovery Channel. Growing up. Growing up. Discovery Channel. You mean Animal Planet? Animal Planet. Yeah. No. What? It was SpongeBob. SpongeBob. SpongeBob was ultimate ultimate favorite out of everything I used to watch. <sighs> All right, now I got to come up with a hard one. I came up with another one. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> when I played football, I suffered a heat stroke and was hospitalized. How old was I? 15. This game is rigged! <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I'd be terrible if I didn't know that. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, Wait, I, thought I had one and I forgot already. Ah, uh, good. Now just pick a color or something. <laughs> oh. uh, it's like playing against a camcorder saying, I bet you can't show me what you saw. <laughs> the final question, it has to be easy. Because I've been pied more than she has. That's true. At this moment, the baby tiger has gone to use the bathroom. She's left me here to protect her items, including you all at home. Now, any moment she shall return. I'm going to do my best to win this final round, but even if I don't, please know that it was worth it. And no animals were harmed in the making of this video. I think that she'll be returning any moment now, so when she does, we must stay quiet because she doesn't know that you're watching. What street did I grow up on? No. Just the name of the street. You don't have to tell me the address or anything. Just the name of the street. I it's have like taken her through it. Narrow lanes or something. No, what? It's the name of a bowling alley. <laughs> okay, so. It was like Walnut I've, Avenue. <laughs> I've taken her through this street at least three times. That doesn't mean she should memorize it, but it's a fair question because she knows more than I do. What street did I grow up on as a kid? Like Walnut Avenue or Wally Street? It is a tree. Willow. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Birch. <laughs> it's Birch. <laughs> Birch. Birch. <laughs> One for myself. You ready, Daniel? <laughs> you ready? No! <laughs> oh, 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 Danielle! Are you okay? Did it go up your nose at all? <laughs> hey, I got the. <laughs> you got it wrong! I'm leaving this on for my final question. Okay, ask your final question. Okay. Got a good one. Okay. In kindergarten. Yes. Oh no. I put chapstick, because I thought it smelled so good. I had this chapstick I thought smelled really good. Yeah. And I put it on my lips and I thought it would be a really good idea to 
rub it all <laughs> over my face. Okay. And I got into class and my friend Katie in class looked at me and she said, do you smell blank? And I was like, no. Because <laughs> I was embarrassed. <laughs> all over my face. <laughs> what was it? I don't know. It's one of two things. But it's cherry. No. Pineapple. No! Pineapple? What were you doing with pineapple? <laughs> it's on the wall. Oh my gosh. And that is how you do it. <laughs> I will never forget what type of chapstick she thought would be a fantastic facial perfume. Now this may be an unfair question because she was not around at this, actually no, you know what, you were. Just not whenever I made the decision. What was, when I went to college, what was my first major? Before I changed it to what it is or what it became, what was my first major? Psychology. Dang it! Psychology. <laughs> Beneath pineapple. Oh, that was an easy one! No, don't ask me a question! I, I, got, I actually have one. No, Danielle! I know it. Oh my gosh. I've told you this like a gazillion times because I always talk about my dream house, right? Oh, yes. Okay. What is my dream house made of? Limestone. What's the, is, is there a certain color? Yeah, it's like white stone. Good job, white limestone. <laughs> I thought all limestone was white. Well, I guess maybe it is, is. maybe it is. Yeah, I don't know now. Yes, way to go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We hope oh. that you got a good laugh watching this video. What you'd like to see us do next. Uh, hopefully it won't be so messy. Maybe it'll still be. <laughs> All right, I cannot believe you right now. You are so rascally, Danielle. <laughs> what are you doing? No, Danielle, we're done. I answered your question right. I don't deserve to be delicified. Thanks for joining us. We had a lot of fun making this video. I wish that, um, I don't know. That you get pie more. Pied more. <laughs> I think I need to start paying more attention though whenever she's telling me about what specific animal she saved from a pond that she thought was drowning and gave it CPR and it turned out to be a mole. <laughs> no, I uh, Oh, oh. See, I already messed up again. <gasps> oh, you'll never I know. already messed up. A mole. You, She'd still do it to a mole. Those <laughs> ugly faces popping up out of ground. She'd be like, oh, come here, you're not breathing. <laughs> Ladybug. <laughs> so, ladybug. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. <sighs> I think it just shot like aerosol. If you guys have any ideas of things that you'd like to see us do together, uh, let us know. Um, we have a couple travel videos coming up. See you in our next video. Yeah. TTFN. Ta ta for now. <laughs> We're unified once again. We can go out and conquer the world one video at, at a, a time. time. <laughs> Signing <laughs> off. Subscribe button should be right up here. We're stupid. So right there. Bye!